Hello, I'm very excited today to show you my Celtic Summer, which I have finished. Yes, I have finally finished her. Um, so I started Celtic Summer at the end of April and I finished her mid-July. So yes, it took me about three months and I'm really, really happy. Um, I'll just give you a little overview of, of the pattern itself and what I did. So this is called Celtic Summer and she is a pattern by Lavender and Lace. Um, there are four seasons and this one is my very first. I chose a 28 count fabric which is um, it's quite a high count which means it's really small holes. Now if you were to, to do one of these and you've never done one before and you've never actually used 28 count my suggestion is that you give it a try first because it can be quite difficult to actually see the holes if you've got any eyesight problems or you just find it too difficult to work with. Um, I'm also using linen which is quite a stretchy um, soft piece of fabric and I have noticed because normally I use even weave or Ida and I did notice with linen that there are these strange sort of ridges or inconsistencies in the fabric and it makes the actual hole sizes a little bit inconsistent as well. So as you can see here, when you're counting the holes, some of these uh, little lines are, are larger than the others. You do actually get used to it after a while and your eyes adjust. So what did I find the hardest part of this pattern? Well, for me, I think it was the beading, which I left until the end. So many people were saying that they leave the beads to the very end, obviously, because it's quite delicate once the beads are in place and you don't want to shuffle about too much and crack them or damage them in any way. But at, at the end, I felt like all I was doing was beading. So I did find that I was putting it down quite often and picking it up again just so that I could have a little break from the beads. But I do think they give a really lovely, lovely effect. And the, the beads are exactly the same as the pattern calls for, except I did make some changes along this left border. And what happened was I was quite merrily doing my beading all the way down when I had gotten mixed up between the purple and the blue. I thought, oh, should I change it? And then I decided not to. Why? Because I like the blue. So I thought, well, I like it how it looks, so that's fine for me. I'm not going to start picking out the beads now. It was really a nice experience to do this pattern. And yes, I do want to do um, another season. I'm thinking about doing winter next, but I'm not decided. So if you have any ideas, or maybe you can give me a suggestion of what you think I could do next. And I'm not even sure if I'm going to use linen again or whether I'm going to go back to using some other form of fabric. Um, I haven't decided yet. So I think I'm going to give the whole thing a bit of a rest and I'm going to put her aside before I frame her because I'm not sure whether I should do the others and then frame them all together so that I can have consistency in the framing work or just get her framed and up and so that I can just admire it, you know. Um, I think I probably will give in and end up framing her. So yeah, this is, this is it and I'm really, really pleased. And if you've got any questions, just ask me in the comments. I'm, I'll be glad to help with anything if you, if you have any, any questions you'd like me to answer. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again.